Yi Jing Zhu, I'm pleased to welcome you here on behalf of the Basel Composition Competition. Born in Shanghai, you started to play accordion, piano, violin, Chinese pipa and classical guitar at a very young age. Then you went on studying composition at the Chinese Conservatoire in Shanghai. You continued your studies after an Erasmus year in Denmark with Markus Troppa at the Hochschule für Musik in Stuttgart. Your new piece, Deep Grey, will be premiered tonight by the Basel Sinfonietta, directed by Peter Rundel. Deep Grey is deeply influenced by live electronic music. How is this approach translated to the traditional instruments of a symphony orchestra? Uh, yeah, you, uh, you mentioned the word translate. Yes, I, I translated some uh, treatments and effects from the live electronic to the orchestra uh, artificially. Uh, for example, the artificial verb, artificial uh, modulation, artificial delay, and artificial uh, granulations. Uh, I'll give you an example. For example, the, uh, a single pitch, C, and I can give a birth to a bunch of C, uh, in terms of time, and then expand the C uh, from the monophonic C to a polyphonic C. And as a result, you can see the panorama of a single C. So that could be the result. What were the challenges within this approach of composing for an orchestra? Uh, there are many <laughs> challenges, actually. Uh, the, the biggest challenge is how to transform the uh, live electronic effect to the orchestra. And because, you know, electronic is ruthless, it can faithfully uh, transfer the data or the, uh, or, or loop, uh, or loop a data. Uh, but at the same time, you can just modify the effect or the sound by adjust the parameters on the computer. But when you write uh, an orchestra piece, it's not always the case. You cannot hear the sound. You can only imagine the sound via your inner hearing. And then you will <laughs> uh, revise the note one after another by hand. So that could be the challenge for me, yeah. In the program notes, you say that Deep Grey is a melting pot of different musical languages. There are traces of gamelan music, of rock and roll, East Asian music, and even beatbox. How did you combine all these languages musically? Actually, I didn't do it on, on purpose. It's like a brainstorming uh, during my compositions. Uh, I don't know if you have watched the film uh, Identity. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a film uh, 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 about a person who has 12 personalities. So the 12 personalities uh, appear in the same hotel and fight and, and then uh, murder each other. So in my compositions, it's uh, just like that way, but there are no conflicts and, and, and murderings in my brain. <laughs> there are only, uh, I can say, it, it turned out to be a sublimated uh, harmony. You say that there are no gaps between different musical genres. So how does Deep Grey sound finally? Uh, yes, there is no gaps, I think. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, if you ask some Latin American authors, such as Juan Rodolfo or uh, Jorge Borges, uh, how do you control or uh, deal with the gaps between illusions and realities in your novels, I think they will probably answer there's no gaps at all between the illusions and the realities because they just stand on a different uh, levels and different dimensions and observe their text in their novels. So in my music, uh, it's also, I also uh, create another level or another dimensions, I uh, sincerely ask you or invite you to uh, jump into that dimension and uh, listen to my music. And I'd rather uh, keep your, your, your questions 
as for what the deep grade sounds like a uh, secret. Yeah, I hope it sounds delicious and I wish you like it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you.